I'm Julia Both. I'm an artist and although a lot of my work is tiny zines and watercolor illustrations on paper, I also love doing huge murals. Um, I like to think that my work isn't either big or small, it's both. Um, a lot of the mural work that I do is done through my partnership with artist Chuck Mayfield, the Mayfield Palace. In December last year we got invited by um, OI Glass, a large glass manufacturer, to um, paint one of the external walls of their factory in Spotswood. It was a little bit daunting because we'd never painted anything this big before. The wall was nearly 180 meters long and about 5 meters tall. When we took on the project I was completely overexcited and fully freaked out, which I think is a great combination for creativity. I designed the artwork for most of our, of our murals and it's the part of the process that I'm most passionate about. I do a lot of research into the client and the location and the theme. I take into account how people are going to interact with the art piece. Um, are they going to drive past it? Are they going to hang out near it for long periods of time? Um, is it going to be seen from up close or far away? After doing the research and considering all the different factors, I start sketching all the different elements and the composition that I think will work best for the outcome that we want. And at the very end, um, I choose a color palette that will work and that will keep the whole artwork cohesive, no matter who's working in it. Actually, painting my sections on the wall was probably the biggest challenge because I'd never worked on anything nearly as big as this. I work with outdoor acrylic paint, um, liquid paint, and brushes, and it took me a little bit to adapt my technique to working on such a large scale. It was a bit of trial and error, but in the end, I worked it out. I was really fortunate to be able to work with Chuck and a bunch of other incredible graffiti artists, which were really inspiring. The end result really exceeded everyone's expectations. Um, we were really happy with it. We get, had great feedback from the client, from the people that drive past it to work every day, from people that live in the neighborhood and walk their dogs past that wall daily. And it was really rewarding and fun to see this tiny sketch that I made in my desk in my studio become this big art piece. I definitely want to do many, many more. One of my dreams right now is that um, through all of these experiences that I'm having in my business working for private companies, that I'll develop my skills enough and I'll learn enough that eventually I'll be able to go around the world and create meaningful public art that has a positive impact in communities. I'm really young and I'm aware that I still have a lot to learn, but um, each new challenge is taking me closer to that. So I'm really thankful.